What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Pixel Experience ROM on this device. And this is the 17th June 2020 build of the Pixel Experience ROM for the Redmi Note 7 Pro as you are noticing in this build number over here. Official build of course, the stock kernel is this Comaco Plus kernel, you can see the base van version and then the Android security patch is latest of June 5th 2020 and of course this is based on Android 10. As this is the latest update of this Pixel Experience ROM for the Redmi Note 7 Pro, let me show you the changelog quickly. Here as you can see it shows camera improvements, then audio improvements and then removed modem throttle and stuff. And WhatsApp calling and stuff should be working fine if it was not working because I don't use a SIM card in this device right now. So I'm not really sure if this WhatsApp call issue was there, it's fixed right now. Updated kernel and no more random reboots or system UI crashes. It says network traffic indicator fixed and there is the important notice that the hentai OS and the pixel experience will have different trees over here some device specific thing if you want to run it to the developer you can click over here I'll put this changelog link in the description box below so don't worry now let's talk about the flashing procedure of this ROM quickly so the first thing you need to remember that you need to use this latest orange box recovery which is r10.1 underscore 3 the latest version of orange box recovery for the redmi note 7 pro and if you want to install this recovery on your device here is a card for you now let me tell you what's the first things that you need to remember to flash this rom i came from a different rom so i had to format storage because i flashed the hentai os it did not boot i had to format storage because of that but if you're in a different kind of custom rom like evolution x or something you can straight up wipe cache talvik system data and then flash the rom and reboot as you do with all other roms now here you do not need gapps again and if your storage is encrypted you just enter password and flash the rom and reboot you do not need to worry but if you want to keep your storage decrypted you need to follow some steps here let me explain here I have decrypted storage and the recovery does not ask me for any password and if you ask how is that let me show you first you boot into the orange fox recovery r10.1 underscore 3 the latest version then if it asks you for password then you just go to menu and then manage partition hit data tap right and format data from here and type yes once you have done that reboot your recovery from here go to menu reboot and reboot the recovery after you format the data then once you reboot to your recovery select menu again and hit this settings icon then go to OTA and enable this disable force encryption once you enable this it's gonna keep the storage decrypted whenever you are flashing a ROM so I have this disable force encryption option enabled and everything else is stock I did not change anything I guess except for checking this disable force encryption so once I did that I just straight up went into the my download folder and then I flashed this firmware which is 20.6.18 firmware that's the latest firmware as of right now this is a China weekly firmware you can surely flash the Indian 11.0.9 firmware if you want to but I flashed this particular firmware. Just in case if you are not on the latest firmware, I'm saying this, if you're already on the same firmware, you do not need to flash it again. Now you select the ROM file and just swipe to flash normally like any other ROM and then you just reboot, it will reboot your system and it won't decrypt your storage as you have already enabled this disabled force encryption kind of thing. So now I'll just reboot to system and that's how easy it is to flash this pixel experience ROM. So now let me just show you the ROM itself. The stock camera here is still disappointing in my opinion this is the cyanogen mod camera or the snapdragon camera as you are noticing the front camera and stuff does work but the camera does get frozen sometimes i have seen that yes like whenever i'm switching to the back camera sometimes it just freezes the ui or the screen over here so yeah that thing happens so i'll definitely prefer the miui camera over this so you can install the anx camera version 184 if you want to definitely with the orange box recovery or magis if you have and you have some customizations here and as you can see the ui just froze okay so here as you are noticing it's not moving so yeah this thing happens with this cyanogen mod camera or the snapdragon camera here so you gotta keep that in mind let me go back I have also installed this Google camera. This is the Unix version 2.0 and this Gcam is actually working fine with night sight and stuff. You can also use the Arnova build if you want to. Gcam should be working totally fine. This is the latest version of Unix version 2.0 I guess of Gcam 7.3 of course. 
and the front camera and stuff with this gcam 2 is actually working fine so you should not worry i've installed this apk separately i'll put it in the cards right here here in the system panel if i go advanced we do have this system updater still as this is the official build we still have this system updater and this is a pixel experience plus build by the way not the stock pixel experience rom this is the plus rom so it has a little bit of customizations here and there i have enabled developer options and with this developer options you can enable the advanced restart and if you scroll down you have this default usb config you can change it to file transfer for convenience now here in the status bar section we have the network traffic indicator you can use this if you want to but i use a separate app for this so that is working fine for me and system icons are there like headset bluetooth etc icon should be working totally fine then clock position you can change to right to left and then show seconds option is there then am pm style option is there battery style you can change it to icon portrait circle or text then we have the battery percentage choosing option to next to the icon or inside the icon i have it on next to the icon as you are noticing then there is the brightness slider auto brightness and the brightness control option and the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar is actually working super fine no issues whatsoever now let me show you the quick pull down option we have the right left option again then tile title visibility option is there then column and row number customizations are there then there is some flip or rotate customization for quick setting toggles then there is the duration and interpolator of the quick setting toggles let me go back to the buttons here we have the system navigation gestures if you go into the settings this is how it looks like of the android 10 gesture settings here there is no option to like increase the size of this pill bar but i'm fine with it and there is the hide navigation bar pill over here you can use the full real estate of the screen and hide this pill if you want to there is the two and three button navigation if you want that too now there is the edge long swipe action you can choose it to split screen screenshot or something else if you want that then inside power menu there is no advanced reboot here because that's in the developer options here we have the long press for torch let me show you if this long press for torch actually works and as you can see it actually works and let me scroll down we have the control playback and stuff answering call reorient and here is how the volume panel looks like of course you can put the phone into silent or vibrate or general from here and then there is the live caption mode if you want that and you can expand it just like this now inside gestures we have this system navigation gestures again i'm not going to show you that but there is this swipe to the screenshot so if you enable this swipe to the screenshot you can just take a screenshot right away as you can see and this is the asus kind of screenshot so you can use the long kind of screenshot and then edit them and share them or delete them from here and the default keyboard is of course gboard here so you should not be having any problems with privacy issues like while typing your passwords and stuff on this rom now let me just quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed here as you can see the fingerprint scanner actually unlocks the device really really fast and it's pretty convenient it works 100 percent of the time i have no issues with the fingerprint scanner you should not be having any problems while unlocking with the fingerprint scanner over here on this rom right now now inside security this is how it looks like let me show you the face unlock speed over here So while trying out the face unlock the only thing I miss is the double tap to wake that's simply not there in the whole UI and that sucks. I have to press the power button to wake the screen then it will unlock with the face unlock and let me try it again. Here is the unlocking speed again and as you can see the face unlock does work but you have to press the power button unless there is no way that you are unlocking the screen with the double tap to wake or double tapping anywhere on the screen to wake as you can see in the sound settings if you scroll down we do not have the me audio dirac here but we do have some vibrate to indicate call status touch vibration and the touch sounds etc let me scroll down we do have this live caption mode here and then if you go here we have the vibrate for calls option too so that's cool inside display settings we have the dark theme night light should be working fine inside live display it doesn't show anything for some reason as you can see it's totally blank there is it says advanced settings it doesn't show any options here and inside styles and wallpapers we have some customizations you can customize a theme like this and there is the eight accent colors that you get and that's all you do not get much more accent color options over here to choose from and inside wallpapers these are the options you get this come alive live wallpapers 
then the living universe option is there of course i am using this particular one i downloaded it from here and inside this sprite there are some more wallpapers and of course a lot of wallpapers options you get over here by default there is a notch behavior so you can hide the notch if you want to full screen apps option is there if you need this for some reason then lock screen display we have and here we have the skip lock screen display cover art and stuff and double tap to sleep is there but then again there is no double tap to wake at all i think it should have been there right as you can see i can double tap to sleep but i cannot double tap to wake the device that is a bummer i guess and wake up on plug option is there you can disable that if you want to then we have the prevent accidental wake up option inside battery settings this is how it looks like the battery life should be decent enough you can definitely get about six plus hours of screen on time easily on this rom it shows the screen on time here it does not show the battery temperature though you can check the full usage from this like three dots and then battery usage from here you can see it from here there is the battery saver of course and it works fine adaptive battery is there and the 18 watt fast charging is working totally fine here you should not worry about that in terms of the stock launcher to the left we have the google's discover page and swiping down gets you to the quick settings panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer everything seems to be pretty smooth and i have been using this live wallpaper but the ui does not get like stuttery at all and the widgets and stuff again is working totally fine here and in terms of the quick settings panel this is how it looks like you can add more stuff from here as you are noticing let me show you there is this screen recording option and i do not see the fps info option over here it does not show the fps info i guess let me go back and show you the screen recorder so as you can see this is like stock android kind of screen recorder and it should work fine but this is no oxygen OS kind of screen recorder where you can change your fps or the resolution or something else there is only this option to like show taps that's it and i have tested the ir blaster present on the device with this led rgb remote app and that is working fine on this rom so it's not a problem drm info still shows as level one so you do not need to worry about the netflix and amazon prime 1080p videos here on this rom if you have an indian device banking app should work right out of the box as it passes the safety net test so you do not need magic hide or something to use banking apps and the gaming performance should be good enough too you can play on decent graphics and here is the end to end geekbench score of this rom now let me just open some of the apps and show you guys the app run of speeds and the ram management here let's open file explorer now let's open facebook now twitter let's open play store and let's open spotify youtube now what else this led rgb remote app drm info safety net test now let's open something else like this app too and this translator app too so right now i'll just open all the apps from memory again and show you the ram management over here okay seems to be pretty good all the apps almost are in memory let's open all of these so yeah all the apps are in memory so that's really really cool let me open this one and scroll okay so all the apps seems to be in memory even chrome is in memory so that's cool that like all the app stays in memory here so the memory management on this pixel experience plus rom should be amazing you do not need to worry about memory management in this rom and even the animations does not become choppy here everything seems to be pretty fast and smooth even though there are a lot of apps in my memory and you can switch between apps just like this as you are noticing here so yeah everything is working totally fine so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down below if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye now